What's up YouTube? My name is Deepak Grover and I have with me my dear friend Divyansh Madhani and you're watching What the JavaScript. In this video series, we'll walk you through the process of building an image gallery with Redux Saga using Unsplash API. We'll go in depth about the concepts of Redux Saga, why and when you should use it and how it compares with Redux Tunk in general. We'll go over the entire process of getting the data from Unsplash, rendering them as this grid and also fetching individual stats of these images and rendering them here on, on the images. So there's a lot happening here with respect to error handling and retries, which we'll take a deep dive in once we build this application. But before we go ahead and do that, let's discuss what is Redux Saga and why you should care about it. So Redux Saga is a companion library for Redux that helps you manage the asynchronous flow of your application really efficiently. And one of the many things that I really like about Redux Saga is that it's simpler to test and better at handling failures. I highly recommend you to spend some time on the docs here and get familiarized with the entire ecosystem. We'll try our best to cover the basic fundamentals for you to almost build anything with Redux Saga. Now, if you know already, Redux Saga is an alternative for Redux Tongues. And if you have been using Redux Tongues, you, we typically handle the async handling logic there. Uh, in, in our actions, as you can see here, where I have this async increment async action, which dispatches um, the increment action after after a timeout, and we typically create tongues to asynchronously dispatch actions when you get a response from your server. And you would already know that it can get tricky as you scale or even brittle when you test your application flow. This is where Redux Saga comes in. You put your async handling on a Saga and use generators to manage the dispatching of actions and maintaining that transaction flow. And if you're wondering why do we use generators and what are generators, let's take a look at them in the next video.